Hello everyone! This is Jessica G. Quinto. I'm here to do my very first movie uh, review. And I wanted to just let everyone know that this is the second time I'm trying to do this. The first one was going to be about 33 minutes long and it was stiff as a board. <laughs> it, it just felt so not me. So I'm going to do this again. I apologize for any kind of lateness this has caused, but I wanted to make sure that I was going to do this properly because all of you deserve to see me. So does he deserve to see who I am? Not just in a vain way to see me because I'm awesome, but uh, to actually see who I am as a person. So um, the first movie I'm gonna be doing is The A-Team, uh, the one from 2010. Now, I am going to say that I have not seen the original series. I do have some, like, fan knowledge of it, um, but it's very, very limited. The main thing I just want to point out is the pros and the cons of this movie, along with what my overall rating for it is. Now, starting with the pros. Pro number one, action sequences. When I saw this movie, it had a lot of really big action sequences and a lot of set pieces for that, but then it also had really good characterization, so you didn't get bored of seeing a whole bunch of explosions and everything, and you also didn't get bored of seeing characters do their arcs. So it was really nice to see a good combination of the two of them. Pro number two, characterizations. As I said before, had really good characterizations, but specifically for the main four guys, Hannibal, B.A., Face, and Murdoch. There were three minor characters in Sosa, Lynch, and uh, Pike, but they weren't as big of characterizations as the main four, but then again, this is also called the A-Team. It's not called the minor characters. Pro number three. Had a really good ending that definitely left it open for the series to be picked up, or if they were going to reboot the entire series with these new characters, into more movies, it left it open. Okay, con number one, bad explanations. One thing that I saw generally throughout the movie was having a character do X, Y, and Z, but never having them explain how they got information on X, Y, and Z. So like Hannibal getting information or Face being able to do this or BA doing this, it was never explained how they were able to get the information they needed or know what they needed to know, such as for like big reveal scenes. There was no explanation of how they figured it out kind of thing. And as someone who likes to know the why, that really bothered me. Con number two. Bad characterizations on minor characters. Now, as I said before, there were some really good characterizations on the main cast, but on the minor characters, I felt like some of them got the short end of the stick when it came to char good characterization. Um, the one specific one that pops into my head is the character Carissa Sosa. She is very, very strong-willed, and that's fine. I mean, she's a person of some power, but it gets to the point where it's almost unbelievable how how much she's taking this upon herself. But again, this is my own opinion on her. And if they wanted to portray a very strong woman, they, they did. They portrayed a very strong woman. But it was almost unlikable in how they went about it. Now, I also wanted to talk about a few things that I really liked as far as things they added in, not necessarily the pros or the cons, just little itty bitty incidentals that I noticed. There were two full cameos. Uh, one of them was from the original TV series Face, and then the other one was from the original TV series Murdoch. Now, I didn't recognize those because, again, I didn't see the TV series. But my husband had, and he was the one who actually pointed them out to me during the very first viewing. And I thought those were pretty cool because I love cameos when they do a reboot or they do like a sequel where they have the original cast make appearances. So those were quite fun. Um, I also enjoy continuity errors. 
Um, the one that really kind of just made me laugh because of the fact I had to, I caught it once, then I had to watch it again and make sure I caught it was a scene with uh, Sosa and Face where the handcuff that he supposedly uses on her on the photo booth is not actually attached to anything. So I found that to be kind of funny. I will. Um, I do like talking about continuity errors, so more than likely during these videos you're going to get at least one continuity error that I see. Um, overall, if I had to give this movie a rating of between like an A to an F kind of thing, I would give it a B plus because it is still a really great movie. It has a really good cast. And it also does a lot of good things with the characters, the main cast of characters, I'm meaning. But it's, it's just an overall good movie. And I highly recommend it to people who like big action sequences followed by the main cast at least having character, de character development. And having a few things be left to the imagination or not being a little too picky about explanations like me. That's why I only give this one a B plus because those were things that I was kind of looking for. I was looking for the explanation. But again, highly recommend this movie. And that's all the time I have for you all today. Uh, what you can do if you want to keep updated on when I post on YouTube, you can subscribe to me, hit the little bell down at the bottom to get notifications of when I actually post. I will try to post every Wednesday or Thursday, depending on my schedule, of course. Um, you can find my website for my book series also down in the description, along with all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. I try to post as much as possible onto all forums. And if you would like to follow me on any of those, just hit the link below and you will be connected. Um, you all have a fabulous day, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!